last day of winter for 2019 could not be happier it's March 19th all right so check it out if uh, 10 years ago you've had $15,000 available you put it as a deposit on a little condo uh, that condo would have cost you maybe say one hundred fifty or two hundred thousand dollars. Say one hundred fifty thousand dollars. That was your ten percent. Maybe you put another uh, ten when you got your keys, and you're good. And ten years ago, those one hundred fifty thousand dollar condos are now half a million, four fifty, give or take, right? Because at the time you would have bought them for less than two hundred dollars a foot. Now you can sell it for thousand bucks a foot. Let's say it's old, so nine hundred bucks a foot. You made about four to five times your money. So that the initial deposit of 15, 20, 30 thousand dollar um, actually made you the jump from 150 thousand your purchase price to 450 or 500, three times as much. Let's say only two times, okay? Let's say that condo went from 150 to 300, but we know there's nothing for 300 right now. But just for the sake of argument, that 10% or 20% you put down is not um, just that, but really the whole appreciation you doubled or tripled the value of the condo or the property that you bought. So you put the ten, you put the ten percent down, thirty, twenty, thirty, whatever. But the margin that you're making is two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand. That's ten times the money that you actually put in. The rest you didn't put in. You loaned it from the bank, which is not their money anyway. It's just fake money because all money is fake money. Don't forget that. And a tenant that had in your place for the last 10 years or 15 years pay the rest so you took that uh, 20 thirty thousand dollars from 10 years ago and you can sell this thing for five hundred thousand now and the only real money you put out of your pocket was that 20 percent down and at the time we actually we used to do 10 percent down okay and the rest will just borrow the whole thing but it doesn't matter because you know i put thirty thousand dollars down and i made three hundred thousand in an appreciation that gives me 10 times my money that's very nice. Um, you can't beat it going to work for $15 an hour or 20, even 100. It just doesn't work like that. So here's what's going to happen next, okay? The world economy is uh, collapsing, uh, inflation, everything's becoming more expensive, more expensive, more expensive, more expensive. This is not a mistake. This is by design, okay? And it's designed uh, in such a way that to create two classes, landlords and tenants and you got to decide real quick if you're going to be a landlord or you can be a tenant because the price for entry the entry price is getting up and up all the time because that 20 percent is uh, rising all the time because property prices have risen in the last few years by you know 15 to 20 percent a year and this year i think it'll be 10 percent maybe even 15. It doesn't matter what the government says because at the end of the day, the government is the main benefactor of all these because they collect all the taxes. And when the prices go up, you know, taxes, they tax you uh, GST, HST, this tax, that tax. It goes up and up and up all the time. So don't expect the government to make the prices of real estate lower because they won't. They're addicted to that money and that money is yours. So the only way you can do it is invest in something real, real estate. And that's the whole thing. I didn't invent it. It's not my idea. I'm just sharing it like it was shared with me. It was taught to me and I'm teaching this to you. So if you have 50 or 60 or $100,000 available for investment, you may not be able to do it in Toronto anymore, but that's okay. There's Brantford, there's Kitchener, there's Guero, Waterloo, there's Hamilton. There's obviously, um, I'm not so big on Oshawa until we're going to see what happened with the GM uh, saga there. Um, if that thing's not going to be replaced, you know, then there's going to be a lot of people uh, thinking about their future. Just like um, the Uber driver that uh, gave me a lift the other day. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> uh, he said that somebody said to him that um, there's 100,000 Uber and Lyft drivers in Toronto. And there's probably 10 or 20,000 guys riding the bicycles. So what's going to happen when that Uber, you know, in three to five years is going to be replaced by automatic driver? There's 100,000 people that need a new job, okay? So there's a lot of this going on. At the end of the day, all the services will be replaced, the real estate, all the agents, all the uh, services like insurance, real estate, all these things are going to be replaced, and that's totally okay. But there's huge time for adjustment right now. And right now, you got to adjust quickly because what's going to happen in the next 10 years, the price is going to go up again, double or triple. And then what you're going to do, okay? Then what you're going to do, because you won't be able to rent not even a little place. Because right now, King West is $4.25 a foot for a rental. Okay? 
and it's uh, a thousand. If you can still buy it a thousand a foot, you should buy it. You should call me because I still see stuff for a thousand bucks a foot, but not for long. I've been raising my prices on um, stuff that we haven't sold through the winter because spring is coming and we're just going to raise the price because the developers, uh, you know, you can't find anything from a developer for less than 1300 these days. And it was a thousand just not long ago. Just last year, you can still buy from a developer for less than a thousand, but you cannot anymore. And I speak to developers every day. You know, I grew up in, in, in the construction industry and all that stuff. And they just, they say that our costs are too high. Our risk is too high. We got to do this thing for five years. It's just a crazy business. You know, there are a lot of them get heart attacks, poor guys, but it's true. It's just very stressful. So they got to make some money too. It's not like they're doing it for free. So if their cost is a thousand bucks a foot, you know, they need to, they need to sell it for 12 just, just to, just to make it worthwhile for them because it takes, you know, six to 10 years to develop a building. So end of the story is like this. If you're not going to do it today, tomorrow is going to be more difficult. Um, this is how things are going. This is the world we live in. So owner and landlord, you decide. This is Yossi. If you have 50, 60, $100,000 to spend, call me. I'll show you some options. Okay. That's it.